Dave Bricker, and I'd like to share an exercise that I do with my Flash students in my Flash class. Um, this exercise covers movie clips, buttons, basic actions. It ties together a lot of the things that we've learned. One of the first things I'm going to do is make my stage just a little bit larger. If I click on the stage or basically click off of any other object, uh, I can uh, access the properties of the stage. I'll leave it at 24 frames per second, but I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because uh, the default size of 550 is pretty tiny. So here's my stage. Let me clear this. And the idea is I'm going to make a submarine. Uh, the submarine is going to float in the waves and uh, the waves are going to move back and forth. And when I click a dive button, it's going to dive. So the first thing I'm going to need are the static pieces, which I'm going to make as graphics. I think I'll start with the submarine and here's a nice exercise in using the drawing tools. I'm going to go ahead and use a gray rectangle with no stroke and I'm just going to start off with a simple rectangle and let me zoom in on that. And remember that I can use my white arrow and access the handles or with the black arrow there are some very organic tools that are really unique to flash. So I'm going to pull a nose cone out here. I'm going to pull a tail section out here. Um, I'm going to make some tail fins with a rectangle. I don't need to be too fancy with this. Here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull that out a little bit, drop it on top. Now I have one shape and you'll notice as I select it that it is all one shape. Let's go ahead and just add periscope and an antenna and another thing I can do I'm going to go ahead and make a horizontal line I'm going to set that line to be three pixels a lighter color stroke here and then for the style I'll just set it to be dotted and this is going to become my windows on the submarine let me put this here and voila there we have it my next step is going to be to select the whole thing and I'm going to hit F8 or convert to symbol and I'm going to make this sub a graphic. I'm going to register it in the center and I'm going to call it sub graphic. The graphic extension on the name is not critical but I'm trying to make things clearer for you. Let me position this thing on the stage about where I want it and I'm going to name the layer sub. The next piece I want to create is my waves. My waves are going to go underneath the sub um, for the purposes of this exercise. And again, there's kind of a, a trick we can use to get that wave shape. What I'm going to do is select a blue color, get rid of the stroke, and then use, oops, here we go, use my rectangle tool. And I'm going to start up about here come down a little bit below and then using my arrow all I need to do is you'll see as I get close to the edge that I get this little hair on the edge of the cursor I'm gonna come here I'm just gonna pull this into a wave shape now if I select and I option drag option dragging gives me a copy and if I hold the shift key it'll keep that constrained in position. Deselect, select both. Things happen pretty quickly when I double them up. It's on a different layer than the submarine and I think if I just do this one more time, not close enough, let me nudge it over one. Now there's one shape. I'm going to go to my alignment tool which is Command K or Control K on the PC and I'm going to align those waves to the stage and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to convert them into a graphic symbol. Convert to symbol. Graphic called waves. Again, registered in the center. And I want to be able to see my stage through here. So I'm going to go to the color effect, choose alpha, and 60% should do it. So there's my sub on one layer sitting here. Here are the waves underneath. I'm going to make one more layer for my dive button. 
and I'm going to make this button quite simple. It's just text with the word dive. So let me put this here. I'm going to say convert to symbol. This is going to be a button symbol, and it is going to be dive btn for button. And then I'm going to double click it. And you'll notice that its timeline is a little bit different than a movie clip or a graphic. Up, over, down, and hit. I'm going to hit F6 and change the over color to gray. I'm going to hit F6 again, and I'm going to hit make the down color red. Now there's a lot of confusion about hit. What is the difference between down and hit? Um, anything later than flash 8, if you're using text, you don't need it. But the hit is the hit area. It's an invisible area that's never seen. If I was going to be doing a button for Flash 7 or earlier, I would actually do something like this. In the case of a text box, it's not necessary anymore, but um, I'm going to get rid of the text and leave the rectangle. It's never visible. It's simply the area that the mouse enters to trigger the button. Now I've got my button in three states, and that's the first part. I've got my graphics in place, and I'm ready to start animating.